So the Mosaic International Leadership Programme is a year-long programme for young people aged between 25 and 35. We have 80 delegates on the programme each year and they're from 16 different countries. And the aim of the programme is to build their leadership as young leaders of the future but also to help them to understand the responsibility of leadership. The programme begins with a two-week intensive summit uh, where we bring all 80 leaders together and they experience leadership training workshops. Uh, we have speakers from a range of influential organisations and we also take them to see examples of leadership in action. It allows Mosaic to take the learnings it has here in the UK and really spread it across the world. On the first day of the programme, um, we brought all the delegates together to do a team building activity. It was facilitated by the Prince's School of Traditional Arts. Um, all of the participants got to paint and prepare a s section of a collaborative artwork. Um, so not one of us could have done it on our own, but all of us together were able to produce this beautiful piece. Individually, everyone was, you know, uh, they had a, an individual piece of art that they had to paint and eventually it became part of a bigger picture. And when I saw the final artwork, I was quite amazed. That's really about the message of Mosaic. The, the sum of the parts is greater than the individual. And we were very privileged uh, that Mosaic's uh, patron, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, invited us to Clarence House, which is his home, because he wanted to meet all of the delegates of the programme. The experience at Clarence House was an experience that I will never forget. And Prince Charles was very welcoming and Princess Badia. Uh, so humble and he already, uh, you know, had some time to speak to each uh, from the 80 delegates and to have, uh, you know, small conversations with them. For me, it was very surprising that uh, the knowledge that he had about each and every country, you know, and each and every culture. Sure, you would agree with me that the importance of the international program is not just to improve the leadership skills of these remarkable young people, it is also to help them understand the responsibility that comes with leadership and the need to use positions of influence to make a positive difference to our community and I greatly look forward to watching the impact that this year's cohort of delegates will make in the years to come. And I'm sure they will make us extremely proud, because they certainly make me proud. Thank you. On Thursday and Friday, towards the end of the week, the delegates went out in their groups uh, around London, um, exploring London for the first time on public transport, um, visiting projects. So these are examples of leadership in action. We think it's really, really important, as well as the theory, as well as the individuals talking about change, that they actually get to see real life examples of change. The visits we made were uh, very inspiring and useful. Uh, we got to learn about uh, the way how they deal with conflicts, the way how they uh, bring people uh, with uh, various issues to, to reach a certain goal. We really find that this first-hand experience is really essential for the delegates to have because you can be um, participating in workshops and uh, hear from amazing speakers, but it's not until you really see uh, leadership in action that you can really understand and it really inspires the delegates to think about what they will do when they go back to their home countries. And then for the last week we've moved to Cambridge here at the wonderful St Catherine's College. We've really been giving them the theoretical leadership tools to help them now go back and deliver real change back home. Yeah, we've, we've had really uh, brilliant and inspiring speakers, you know, from, from the political field, from, from the social sector. Uh, after sharing their experience with us, they influenced me as uh, they were great leaders in their, in, in their, in their fields and such, that gave me 
new ideas, new things I'm thinking about. There are things that I've never thought about, but now after meeting them, after listening to them, after listening to the way that they're talking with, that influenced me well, and I'm thinking that I've got a lot of information with them, and that will help me. So we introduced a really important new element this year, where volunteers from across the Mosaic Network in the UK, but also some overseas, said we'd like to help those young leaders. We'd like to work with them to help them develop their action plans and to help them deliver those action plans. Well, I'm gobsmacked to be honest that I was matched with someone that can actually deal with all the, you know, can guide me in terms of the help that I require. And my mentor, she really did go out of her way to make sure that she can help me and I can actually put my plan into practice. And it was lovely to see all the delegates come back with such big smiles on their faces, having met such inspirational mentors. Hopefully, we've given them both the skills but all the practical support of our mentors to help sure they can make that change. I start to feel, you know, that my goals would start to be more clear for me uh, regarding, you know, how I can uh, make differences, you know, on my community. I've enjoyed meeting lots of people, uh, learning about different cultures and how much uh, we could improve as leaders. The leadership programme with Mosaic has really helped us and I really want to go away from this and give back to society. In the same way that I've got something from here, I'd like to give it back. After two weeks, I really feel that I'm now full of information and I'm ready to go to my community and start new projects and with different ideas that I'll collect from these wonderful people and make my community better.